Welcome to Confessions of an SEO. This is Carolyn Holzman and I'm your host. A couple of months ago, I did an episode where I went over the kinds of recurring segments that I thought it might be helpful for listeners and frankly myself to kind of have some variety. Uh, Last week, I talked about what happened when a business owner dropped a question into a pool of SEO sharks about how to evaluate an SEO company that he wanted to hire. This week is going to be a mailbag. Yes, you can send me messages, questions, your feedback. All you have to do is email confessions at AmericanWayMedia.com. My reason for choosing this particular question is because it involves a discussion of both something from an earlier episode and something that is happening right now for me. This comes from a listener in Montana. She owns her own marketing company that offers SEO and she writes, your story about your first SEO client being acquired by another company and realizing you should have asked for a part of the company as compensation totally blew my mind. That never would have occurred to me and I'm curious, can you expand on that a bit more as in how would you have asked for part of the company, would it be a percentage of how much you increase sales or a flat number? Or are you talking about company stock? I ask because I need to think bigger in my own business and if I ever come across a scenario like this, it would be helpful to know how someone else navigated it. First off, yes, I love it that we're all feeling the desire to think bigger in our own businesses, bravo. Okay, for those of you who may have missed it, in episode five, I talked in detail about my first SEO client. They were stuck for years at 1.2 million. They approached me when they saw my brick and mortar business, which was located right next to theirs, literally blow up. I mean, they saw people coming and going. There were freight deliveries. And uh, every time they came over, the phone was ringing off the hook every time they stepped in. Now, in a previous episode, episode 14, I talked about what my particular superpower is. And for SEO, it's forensic SEO. Figuring out why things are the way they are, and then redeploying those same uh, tactics for the benefit of my clients. It was certainly in the old days and myself today. So in that particular case, I was literally stalking their main competitor, the one that ranked for all the things that they wanted to rank for. And so I pretty much saw the the underlying strategy. So I did the same for them. I mean, that was just, that was the map, right? So once we got started, um, they also blew up in sales. And the ultimate irony is that the competitor, the one that I had been imitating, and we were always like showing up together, um, flip-flopping sometimes. One was like number two, the other was number three, and vice versa. And so that competitor ended up buying my client's company for about 12 million. And that that was a while ago, so just bear that in mind. Um, That was the power of moving from the middle of page two to the top of page one. So in that episode, I was thinking out loud about how I could have structured some sort of deal that might have accounted for that possibility. So in in response, first off, hindsight is 2020. I had a good relationship with each of them. Um, the principals and any stockholders and um, so I could have potentially negotiated something in the beginning that said you know either I'll charge you X for services or Y which probably would have been a little less maybe even significantly less um, with the idea that a portion of the company's revenue or maybe even a portion of the company I don't know which one would have been it's hard to say I believe they had I believe they had shares so anyway knowing knowing them as I did I think they would have jumped on the lower price thinking that what could I do that that they couldn't you know I 
I really love it when people underestimate what can be done. So, you know, of course, to, to be prudent about it, obviously I would have probably had to pay for legal advice and the contract agreements. And, and of course, if, if they at the end were going to be jerks, you know, that would have been the cost of chasing all that. Also, if they had never been bought, you know, I would have agreed to do all this work for, for less money. Um, but I think it was the value of that experience that got me thinking this way. Um, so fast forward to now, there's a project that I'm involved in where part of the deal is negotiating a part of the increase in revenue. And, and the only reason that this is a thing is because it's a lot of revenue. You know, we're talking about something in the seven figure area. And so, you know, there are a lot of the same concerns, but uh, this time the way it would work is that the asset would be the property of what I was doing. So it wouldn't um, be the, the end client. So, um, you know, just to kind of uh, balance out, I think, the, the dynamic in that. It would definitely be a win-win opportunity, which is the only kind that I can be in and sleep at night. So I might not have been ready for this with my first SEO client, uh, but the idea is intriguing. I think if you really understand both the dynamic of the people involved, like if you know them really well. Um, and if you don't, you know, I would say f follow your gut on that and realize that you would be investing in a company where you had this arrangement. So I would want to make sure that, that whoever you were doing this for, that they understood the type of investment that you're making. It wouldn't be hard cash, but it would be your um, your time, money, and expertise, which is, is what would be generating, I believe, a lot of their additional revenue. So I, I definitely wouldn't advise this to be how every project is structured, um, because, you know, first off, it's it can take a lot of, of energy just to make sure that, you know, everything's going well. Um, and it's too easy, I think, for, um, systems to not necessarily on purpose take advantage of you um, but at the same rate you know there's there's wisdom in not wanting to stress a relationship out over that um, so Amy I, I hope that helps I, I appreciate your question um, makes me feel warm and fuzzy that um, these little um, talking sessions for me have actually helped you with uh, responding uh, to your to your clients. So anyway, thanks so much for your your question. And and again, I want to say if anybody would like to send questions, feedback, uh, ideas for other episodes, please feel free. Um, you can email me at confessions at AmericanWayMedia.com. That's confessions at AmericanWayMedia.com. Well, that's it for this episode of Confessions of an SEO. This is Carolyn Holzman, and I'll see you in the service.